Rescue mission, day 49. What is this like? Is there anything? At the very, very, very absolute least, we can unlock the infinite rush and try that out once because it'll probably be a long time before I do, do so again. What is going on here? Did everyone forget how to prepare for launch? Okay, so there's some more dialogue. No, it's my fault, Captain. I was able to clear up our communication issues and made contact with Rescue Call HQ. They'd like us to stand by for a little longer until they prepare to receive all the survivors we found here. I believe I speak for all the castaways you've rescued when I say we'll do whatever the Rescue Corps requires. Well, then let's put off our departure for a bit longer. Officers, do what needs to be done. In the meantime, Bernard, make all the necessary preparations so we can return home as soon as we are ready. Copy that. I'll be standing by and ready for takeoff at a moment's notice. I find doing his voice really fun. Okay, let's let's get this done first. I like train. Uh, let's go down here. And unlock this. Infinite rush. And let's try this out. I will never slack. Let's go all the way back here. Probably, have, yeah, we have some, Louis. Okay, okay. It was worth coming back. It was worth coming back. And maybe this will be in a separate episode. Let's try this. Go! Oh, this is sweet. This is sweet. Yeah, baby! That's awesome. And it still has a cooldown, but that's still sweet. Okay, we're, let's, have, let's talk to some people. Petunia, honey... Why do I even bother? The flowers. You're so beautiful. I love the flowers. Uh, here's so <laughs> How often have I done the same thing for you 50 times and I still come back? I still show it. I still commentate it. <sighs> yep. Yep. Okay. Let's save the best for last over there. Who are you? Oh, it's free save. Look at that. You collected all the musical treasures? How extraordinary, Jeff. To show my appreciation, I offer you my instrument. I plan to dedicate myself to working with these new instruments. Lineup trumpet. Oh! I think. Wait, what is this? The sound of it makes one feel compelled to step right in formation. Oh, okay, that's what it is. It is... I like the name, actually. We're gonna grab that real quick. We're gonna grab some Pikmin. <laughs> okay. Louie. What are you up to? And why aren't you tied up? What? What do you want? I'm Louie. I kind of want to stay here. I'm hungry. I want something fresh. Go find a cave. Get me some grub before the onion gets it. What on earth? What? Why do we have this quest? Are we really- am I really gonna do a bonus episode here? I might. I might have to. I think I do. Um, that's wild. That is actually wild. Because he has a quest line, and it probably progresses. That might be what we're missing. Louis' quest. Okay. Okay. That's weird. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal. And welcome back to Pikmin 4. It has been a long time <laughs> since we finished the game. And honestly, uh, I don't really have a good excuse. It just, this is how it worked. Um, I, I kept trying to get around to recording this and then uh, setting up for my live stream took priority. But this is day one of my live stream. I've already pr uh, played Skyward Sword for my 10th anniversary slash uh, slash 1,000 subscribers special, and after doing so, Chat and I decided what better way would it be to start off a stream than to finish out an entire Let's Play. So that's what we're doing, Pikmin 4. And for the first time in this channel's history, in an actual episode, you're able to have a webcam view of me. It took me 10 years, but it's probably overdue, so... I started off by allowing uh, chat to say hi because I don't have a I don't have a chat overlay set up yet. Like I said, this is literally day one. So, without further ado, as long as chat has no problems with uh, with the stream acting weird, which it looks like it might be, let's start the let's start the final episode. <clears throat> what? 
You're joking. No one could have investigated all the areas that fast. Take some plastic that you clearly need still. That's something that's important to you, right? Yeah. You're like a full-fledged ranger now. Maybe I can talk him into doing all the work from now on. Yeah, what exploring did you do? All you explored was the cafeteria, which is what that ship is called, if you remember it. Also, I'm going to try to talk to Shepard at a very specific angle as to get Colin on screen because... That works, kind of. You know what? No, I don't want to talk to you. Bye for now. This is a joke I was holding on to for the entire <laughs> Let's Play. I just never had a good opportunity to use it. Come on, talk to talk to her here. Keep up the good work. And remember, no slacking. Wah ha 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 ha. Be sure to investigate thoroughly now. Life's too short for the regrets. I recently asked Nelly about her experiences with that giant dog creature. Apparently, when she was first captured, it was quite playful. She said she didn't feel like she was in any danger at all. That made me wonder if, if it was acting more aggressive and violent because it was being controlled by Louis. Are you ready for action? What? <laughs> that was abrupt. That was abrupt. If you ever feel stuck, well... It could be worse. You could be truly alone, with no one but me for company, and no one to hear you scream. Alright, Colin. Goodbye forever. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there anyone else who wants to talk? I know Louie has a thing. We have a quest from Louie. It doesn't look like... How do I bring up the map? Oh, this person wants to talk. Just trying to cross... Oh, Nelly. Yeah, Nelly! I forgot about Nelly. Uh, she was British, right? I think they all were British. I don't remember her voice. Hello, I'm, I'm Nelly. Although, I, I suppose it's a bit late for introductions. You know, I'm so grateful for you for saving us. It's, it's important I say this to you directly. Thank you so, so very much. And does she have anything more to say? I'm told that many of the spaceships we use on Kopai were designed by York's grandfather. That's probably why York is so good with machines, just like his younger brother. His 13th younger- his- what? What? His 13th younger brother, I mean! What? <laughs> okay, that's some lore. Dobbs got that scar on his brow during his time as a ranger. He says that Ducky got him real good. If I was gonna guess, I bet that he and Ducky smacked their heads together while lunging for the same piece of food. They are co- they are copites. What What will I do with the treasure once I find it? What? Well, I'll sell it and invest the, pros the proceeds. Of late, there have been a lot of- there's been a lot of research put into finding plants that can be cultivated on Kopai. It's a very hot field right now. Kopai hasn't had any agriculture to speak of, you see, so it would be very exciting to get it on the ground floor now. And still more dialogue. Dobbs started out as a solo treasure hunter. It wasn't until later that York began helping him. I'm sure he must have seen his fair share of danger while he was on his own. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, I guess they ate themselves literally out of house, home, and planet, so they must, they must really be like rabbits. I've never seen the dog that kidnapped me before, and honestly, I wasn't very frightened. How do I put it? Well, when it snatched me up, it felt like I was being played with, you know, like I was a toy or something. Since we trashed on this planet, my main source of food has been the juice that's made out of that shining extract. You can see, it contains many enzymes that help get rid, rid the body of fatigue. It's also quite tasty, so what's not to love? Man, she has so much dialogue. By nature, we Copites have a hearty appetite, but me members of my family tree were ravenous, with a capital a capital R, eaters. They were readers? They were readers. That's my way of saying, when do I get to eat next? Mm -mm, what I wouldn't give for some extra spicy grilled food. My main goal here is to collect treasure. Oh, is this a repeating dialogue? No, I don't think it is. Though if I did I did lose track of them, it'd probably be more trouble than it's worth. I'm likely, uh, I'd likely wind up helping him out. I think she still has dialogue. What I'm doing here is, isn't all too different from what veterinarians do. Man, they have so much dialogue in this game. I treat animals and publish papers now and then, that's all. I'm really, I'm not as, as interesting as all that. I'm told that many of the space. Oh, okay, okay. Now we finally looped it. That was like three or four minutes of dialogue. That's, that's wild. 
Uh, you, I think, are just straight up a quest giver. I don't think you much matter. Ex yeah, that's that's it. We just explored all the caves. We get some plastic. Really, the meat and potatoes of why we are here is... Uh, in recognition of your great achievements, haha. -ha, I'd like to offer this phrase to keep in mind as parting words to you. You can always find me in the pits. I hope we get a chance to explore some caves together one day, haha. -ha. Go Speed Racer. Okay, uh, I think it's just Louie. I think that's all we gotta do. Go find four dwarf bulb orbs. They're super yummy in stews and, uh, stews and soups. I think I spotted uh, some of that something something hollow. All right. So we need to go to the hollows and kill four dwarf bulb orbs. And I need to talk to... Who, oh, sorry, Colin. Are you done? Did you learn that I'm not the only psychopath in this... This... A <laughs> hundred foot radius? Yes, there are more of us. Louis has a secret recipe book that he only lets me look at. All right, uh, we're going to the blooming, blossoming Arcadia. I don't think it much matters, but we're gonna go to the blossoming Arcadia. It feels weird to be back, but I, I honestly, I have a feeling that this is like a radiant AI quest and that there's no end to it. But I, I wonder. I think a comment might have said that there is an end to it, so this might be worth doing. We'll see. I have no idea. I almost feel like the enemies here are cleared out and that we're going to have to go into a cave. Yeah, all the enemies are dead. And they've been dead. So, I have to... I'm going to have to shop for caves. Oh, we also... I forgot, we have this. We have the infinite dash. That's going to make this a lot less painful. Oh, Kingdom of Beasts? That's for sure. That's for sure where we need to go. Yeah, that's perfect. So yeah, we just have to go down to sub-level 1. Uh, I'm fine with their recommendation. Let's go. Oh, it doesn't matter where you go, but Louis hints at, at caves you can find the enemies in by giving half the name. Okay, that makes sense. Dwarf bulb orbs are going to be in here somewhere. Certainly. Those aren't dwarf or red. Oh, goodness. So that is a good tip about uh, Louie giving me the hint that I can find them in. Um, since I did it wrong first, I am going to double down for this cave, but after then, then I will I will use his hints uh, to facilitate this quest being completed quickly. I think that would make sense. It probably paces the episode out a little bit better, which just goes to show like some of the thought press. Oh my word! Some of the thought processes I'm in when it comes to recording these. Let's just avoid all of this malarkey. Please don't lick me with your tongue. Um, or any other object. Don't lick me with anything. Oh, they're bull bears. Ah! They're bull bears! These are not the droid. Wait. No. These are not the droids I'm looking for. There are only large bull orbs and orange bull orbs and bull bears and everything besides the thing I need. This is the kingdom of beasts. Give me the quintessential... Pikmin enemy. Give me the Goomba of the ki of the Pikmin franchise, please. There's nothing here. There was, there was not a single dwarf red bulb orb in this entire cave. Okay. Where did Louis say I should go? Does anyone... Did anyone see that? I'm gonna leave this cave. Captain, I believe that giant dog thing has been living all alone all this time. Seems that way. And if ragged old... If that ragged old collar is any evidence, it has been on this planet for a while. I wonder if, ever, if it ever got lonely hiding out in this cave, deep within the forest. Sometimes. I envy it. Me too, I think. But I'm sure living alongside Louis gave it a bit of hope and joy. Don't you like my joke? No one could be lonely with Louis by their side. I'm hungry. Based on what I know about Louie, I find that hard to believe. 